Welcome back to the spiritual journey, everybody. So, we're gonna be fighting Skeletron to the best of my abilities. Which probably isn't the best, honestly. But we're gonna we're gonna try, alright? I always feel like I over overestimate like how much damage this guy actually does. And you know, he does hit hard, but I don't think he hits as hard as I always think he does. So we're gonna try our best. We gotta obviously kill his hands. Which is gonna be fun, right? Um I'm trying to figure out what what is gonna be the best weapon here. What is legit what's gonna be the best weapon to use on this guy? I, I'm trying to just like hurt his hands. I can't even hit his hands. Oh, I thought I had like a random like boost in my flight right there. I don't know the best way we're gonna be hitting this man's hands. I, you know what? We're gonna go with the bow. <laughs> we're gonna go with the bow. I can't even like. Can you keep your hands down here, sir? Like, how can I hit your hands and then keep bringing them up there? You seriously, yeah, you don't do any damage to this guy without his hands being dead. That's kind of annoying. I don't want to fight his hands. I want to fight him. Honestly, Skeletron is probably one of the bosses I like the least in Vanilla Terraria. I just don't like him. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of boring. Kind of, he just, you know, he does that. That's, that's about it. And then he does the skulls later on, yeah, but just kill his hands and then kill him. It's fairly, uh, simple of a fight now i haven't used my potions yet probably should very soon I, I feel like i need more mobility we're still like fairly on fairly early on in the game but i feel like more mobility might be a good thing that's doing some good damage to his hands I'm trying to even out the damage on both of them but if we accidentally kill one before the other i mean it's too bad it's probably gonna happen honestly but all you gotta do Everyone should know this. You just stay away from his skull and don't dash into it. You dash into it, you get stuck on that shit, dude. You are permanently stuck on that skull until you die. Because he will, like, keep on knocking you up. And every time you dash, you're just going to dash back into him. Okay, so... I'm going to buff up now. Because... Uh, his health... The health is low on his hands. Oh, there goes one of them. Get the other one. There we go. And now, this is the actual, like... This is the pretty tough part, is the dodging of the skulls. I mean, it isn't the worst, but it's definitely not the easiest part. Does he, he still spins, right? Or is he just... Yeah, yeah, okay, he does. Honestly, he's ten times scarier than fucking Prime is. Because he actually, like, runs at you when he spins. Prime just kind of, like, floats around. Alright, these skulls are pretty annoying to dodge. Um, where, where's... Let's use this again. I'm just waiting for him to yeah, there you go. do the spinning, and then that's when we that's when we put the beat down on this man. Hey, anyway, I think I think we got his ass though. So we after we kill this guy, there's some things we need to get done, and that is crafting a bunch of uh, certain weaponry. So we're gonna get to that once we kill this guy. I can explore the dungeon immediately. I do want, do want to check these things out. Okay. Get away! All right, we good. I got some uh, questionable rib racks on me, so <laughs> I think we're gonna have more than enough health if we get hit. We're gonna have more than enough to sustain. I hit twice right there. Shouldn't let that happen. It's all good. I don't think this dude's gonna kill me unless he actually hits me with this skull himself. Even then, like I said, we got we got more than enough healing to sustain, and then we got regen popping off too, which is always helpful. I should wait. I should wait. There you go. Just fly straight up. Oh, if I... Oh, my God. That would have been amazing if he got hit by that. Uh oh. I almost got stuck on him for a second there. Ooh. So, thank God for the decent wing time on uh, the ancient flyer shit here. Definitely helping. Maybe I should use this. Doesn't this hit extremely hard? Okay, maybe not extremely hard. It's decently hard. This, I feel like, it's more often. And everything else does. Well, maybe I can get him to fly into that when he does his next spin. Just fly into one of those mine things. Our health has been pretty good this whole entire fight. I think the lowest we gotten is like 350. Maybe a little bit lower. But look, we done did it more than enough time in the night. I feel like I, 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure I said it earlier, but I feel like I always like overthink how tough this guy is. I, it's because past playthroughs, I've had troubles with this dude. He beat my ass a couple of times. And maybe not the immediate past playthroughs, because I feel like I've been decently prepared in the immediate past playthroughs, but uh, I know in the throwing playthrough, I got my ass handed to me by this guy. Alright, so boom, dead. Anything he dropped that's useful. Cursed soul. Murder skull staff. This is a tremor thing. Look at that nice little head floating around me. Alright, so let's. Ooh, that's way better than the web slinger. I don't think I'm gonna need the. What the fuck is that? Centaur? Ew. So, what I wanna get to making is this the Crimbine. And we need a boomstick, the Undertaker, and a Phoenix Blaster. Now, I'm pretty sure we can craft a boomstick, but I'm pretty sure we can only craft it in hard mode. No, wait. We need a Hellforge. Do I have a Hellforge? I do have a Hellforge. All right, it's not that bad. And then we need a Phoenix Blaster. I'm pretty sure we're going to need a pistol, a handgun for. Can I make a handgun? Oh, with 15 iron bars, I can. Pretty sure I don't have any hellstone. Pretty sure I don't have any like anything at all. Any anything. Uh, do I have a demolitionist at least? Yes, I do. Hey, hello there. I'm gonna be buying a good bit of bombs. Oh, nice party. Shit, I already have like 180. Fuck, we'll get a we'll get a lot more then. Get out of here. I ain't trying to see you. All right. So I did start making a hole. Right here. Maybe I shouldn't waste my job. Start making a hole right here. And there's water already, so <laughs> isn't exactly the best start. Look how much water there is. Like what is this? Alright, hold up. Let's uh let's let's try that out. Let's see if that drains all of it. I, I mean, kinda did. But still there's gonna be that water over there. It's fine. You just gotta gotta expand like my asshole all right so we're almost in hell but i just wanted to show these enemies off down here because this is actually what gets us our next armor set recently added in armor set and it's from these guys i think it's another enemy that drops them too but these are the ones that are showing up right now so these are the guys we're gonna show it off from infernal rocks let's see the let's see the stuff look Fiery stuff. We'll look more into detail once we get enough to craft all of it. But for now, we're still on our adventure to hell. Oh, look, there's another enemy right there. Oh, he vanished from existence as soon as I mentioned him. Why do I always pick that weapon out to shoot? Alright, let's get into here. Try and beat this man's ass with a yo yo. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get your ass with this yo yo. And then, where's the other guy? Down there? Shit. I can easily just like walk around, but we're doing it this way. We'll do it this way. Am I trying to fight this yo-yo? Look, they dropped some. Those guys got really low health. Because they can pretty much one hit you. That's why their health is pretty fucking low. I don't know if I've mentioned them before. Probably have. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in another playthrough. I don't remember if I did in this one. Let's keep it going. Keep on hitting down. Bring your ass over here. See what happens. You get destroyed. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he walked into the mine. What a dumb bastard. Get out of here. Why am I double jumping? <gasps> Salamander. Oh my god, this is the greatest enemy. Fuck is that? Alright, so the blood moon's rising. Which that means... Oh god, that's a voodoo demon. I'm going this way. That means that there's a... I'm pretty sure there's a mini boss up there we can fight that drops a new weapon. I think we fought, yeah, we did fight the mini boss before, but this was before it dropped a new weapon. But I'm just trying to get some health on, man. But I definitely will fight it. Who's coming over here to come fight me? You, you, ain't, you ain't the smartest, are you? Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's get to crafting this. Oh, what can I craft right there? I can craft a musket? That's good because I want to make the other variations too. Boom! Oh, wait, no. It's because I, I use the Undertaker to craft the musket. Alright, we're just going to see if. The mini boss comes through. They got like this pit, everything just likes to fall into. Tunda bones, watch out for him. 
That looks like a mini boss too. All right. Um. How much? How much do we need to craft this armor? A good bit. Yeah, we need a good bit to craft the whole entire set. I kind of want to fight this uh, Thunderbone guy. So we're gonna do that. Why did everybody drop down a block as soon as I drop now? Very interesting. Did uh, Thunderbones dip on us? No, he's right here. Hey, Thunderbones. I'm gonna just gonna shoot you multiple times while you guys kind of like hover underneath me for some odd reason. Oh, fuck. What the hell is going on here? I'm getting te tears of death. What is that? A lot of interesting things we're seeing, aren't we? What was that noise? <laughs> Scary noise. Alright, so back to trying to craft this shit. Before I got very rudely interrupted by literally everything here. Um, so I'll we'll fly up here. I need to craft a handgun, right? What do I need for a handgun? Oh, I don't know if I can craft a handgun. Because I need iron, don't I? Iron is actually a resource that I'm fairly low on. But I'm pretty... I did grab a couple on the way down to hell. So let's just check. I think we check potion materials. We got a good bit of it in there. Get out of here, Deadeye Marksman. You had your time to shine in earlier episodes, right? Alright, let's see here. Seven. I think I have enough. Yes. So we we'll use this, craft a handgun. Where's that handgun at? Where, I see a musket. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. My attention is uh, shifting on other things. Okay. Let's look up. Oh, probably shouldn't do that. Just have a hand. Let me go to the bottom. Hell for 15. Oh, I thought it was 11. Shit. Keep this. I'm doing. I'm doing some fucking trickery right now. So I had a single piece of lead ore. Ew. Turn that into iron ore, and then turn it into an iron bar. Now I got one single piece of lead ingot. Boom, turn that into an iron ingot. Look at that, didn't even have to go back underground. Handgun, gotten. Is this used for any of the specific? Oh, we need it for a boomstick. We need multiple handguns. All right, we're gonna, yeah, let's start with the boomstick. Start with the boomstick. So we need the dynamite pretty much. We'll go get us some dynamite. I don't know why I trashed those mushrooms. <gasps> no, he died. Rest in peace, blacksmith. All right. We'll get a single piece of dynamite. I'm best ignore everything. Just get away from me. Get, get away from me. Get away from me. Just trying to craft some stuff, man. Some nice peace and quiet. That dude makes a scary noise when he dies. All right. Frost. Javelin. Boomstick. Now I need to go get more iron. Fuck. Alright, so we're going to be making both of the weapons. What the fuck? But we're going to start with the Crimbine. So let's start with this. See how it is. Turn bullets into Lexton blood chunks. Mm. Yummy. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get hit. There you go. I mean, it doesn't even life steal for that much. Which I feel like it'd be OP if it life steal for every shot. But... Only like one to two health, I guess. Nothing crazy. So let's see. Let's go get everything we need to craft the. Well, we can just read what it does, I guess. Crimbine. The other one would be called the cor cor corum. Shit, I was wrong. It wasn't called that. All right. Let's just uh, go to Phoenix Blaster then. Get away from me. No, I want to see what other recipes it's used in. Other recipes. Alright, I don't know how to do that. Oh, there it is. Shadow shot. I knew that. It's pretty much you need the same thing and then just a musket. And then what does it do? Shoot out. Shoots out. Why am I having so much trouble reading that? Shoots out a spread of vile bullets. Alright. Can I craft the uh, Undertaker? Under. You cannot craft the Undertaker. Alright, well, I'm going to have to kill some stuff for it. All right, so I have all the gear to craft the thing. Uh, Mine's effect. Oh my god, it's so far away. You know, what, let's just talk about things while we're going over here. So, there's a lot of things throughout like the last couple of weeks that have been added in to like the miscellaneous pre-hard mode stuff. So, probably in the next episode, 
We're gonna take on Atlas before he becomes Atlas is actually being moved to hard mode. But we're gonna take him on before he becomes, you know, the hard mode variant. Uh, cause he's getting a new sprite and everything. He's a lot more beefy looking. So it only makes sense that they move him to, you know, more beefy area of the game, hard mode. And uh, there's a boss that's gonna replace him now. I'm not like trying to speed up to fight the wild flesh anytime soon until I fight the replacement boss. I really want some iron ore. No, we're good. I kind of used all of it crafting all this stuff. But yeah, I'm not gonna look to speeding up trying to get to the wall of flesh really quickly. Uh, just because I want to fight that boss and not be like over level or over level it. And we should be good. So this series might slow down a little bit. There might be a filler episode just to you know mess around with all the miscellaneous pre hard mode stuff. Let's head into this dope ass corruption we have. What's the closest altar? Way down. What the heck? I can make a room to one. Right here. Let's make a room to this one. That should be not perfect, but close enough. Which is all I need. There we go. I kinda I kinda wonder if it's in there. It wasn't it wasn't worth it, honestly. <laughs> Ropes. Alright, let's see how good this one is. These are probably going to be the weapons we're going to use a little bit. Uh, strong Shadow Shot. Ooh, it's cursed. Okay. So what's it doing? It shoots out a spread of vile bullets. So it's like a shotgun. I don't know, like this type of shotgun or what? Well, I like it. I like that. It's pretty cool. I do like these two weapons. These are some dope-ass weapons. So yeah, next episode, we're going to check out some pre-hard mode stuff, maybe explore the dungeon. Uh, but primarily, we want to fight Atlas in that episode. That's probably what's going to happen. The fight with Atlas. going to use this weapon a little more. Really crimulating blight slimes. So sorry if there'll be episodes where like I don't show me fighting bosses from other mods. Because, you know, this is the spirit mod. Like, mostly focused series. So I might cut out a couple of bosses here and there. This episode, I'm showing that we beat Skeletron and that we can now finally officially take on uh, Atlas in the next episode. I think Atlas should be wrapping up. I got to get more Infernal Rocks to get everything we need. And I'll show that off in the future, too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Ah!